Hey, hey, Glam Beauties. Welcome back to my channel, Madam CJ Ma'am Glam. I'm here to bring you a February fragrance haul. But before we get started, I want to say hello to all my new subbies and also to all of my uh, old subbies, my ride or dies. I really appreciate you. And um, it's been very excruciating being on a no makeup buy, going into Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And looking at the makeup, putting it in my bag, but then saying, no, you can't do it, Carol. You can't do it. So, uh, I put my makeup back and I've been purchasing some fragrances. Uh, I've been looking at uh, Rhonda LaRiche for the last couple of weeks and she's very interesting. Uh, please go to her channel and watch her because she is very informative when it comes to perfumes and also last i think last tuesday or monday i uh found someone called uh, uh what is her name shannon's secret i mean shannon's scent story she is hilarious uh i picked up a purchase from her recommendation too because I just wanted to see was that smell that she was smelling was the same thing. But, of course, everyone's uh, scent is different. So, uh, I never really thought about shopping at uh, FragranceNet.com until uh, Rhonda LaRiche was talking about it religiously. So, I went on there and it just blew my mind. I thought I was getting ready to get some good deals at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But FragranceNet.com uh, has some really great prices. So what I've been doing now is comparing prices, and I get it wherever I can save my little coins. But uh, this is one of my holy grails. This is the Bob Mackie. I've been wearing this here since my 20s. I was about almost finished with it, getting ready to pan it. And when I went to FragranceNet.com, they had this here. This is a tester. They had it for, um, I think, because I got 37% off. I think it was like $11 or something. So, um, this is this is a great buy right here. Uh, and again, this is uh, Mackie by Bob Mackie. And I'm not really going to do, well, I may do some little spraying, but I'm not going to do a mush because it's late and I'm just getting home from work and I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, and I also, I don't have any coffee grounds, but I got the next, next best, best thing, a K cup. I'm going to sniff this if I uh, have to do any spraying. Let me open it up first. Oop. Cause I forgot this is a K cup. But these are two purchases that I uh, received today from uh, FragranceNet.com. Uh, it's this Armand. And the reason why I got these, I love the bottles, but I wanted to at least try one of them out. And guys, I tell you, this here smells just like uh, Le Vie And when it died down, it kind of smelled like Juicy Couture. Viva La Juicy. Hold on, I got uh coffee all on my hands. Ugh. But anyway, this is this gorgeous bottle, and this is a nice fragrance. So far, it has been on me for at least six good hours. And I'm going I'm gonna make sure I purchase uh the other ones. Oh man, I got coffee everywhere. And I also, this is from a uh, recommendation from uh, Rhonda LaRiche. Uh, this is the Justin Bieber. This is the Collector's Edition. And I haven't sprayed this. These are two that I uh, got today. These two here. Let's see how this smells. Mmm. It definitely is a Grimaud fragrance. Mmm. Oh, that smell good. Smell good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, God, I got coffee grounds all in my fingernails and everything. Shame on me. Well, anyway, this really smell good. Uh, mm, it's like I can smell some caramel or praline in this here. 
I have to read the notes. Uh, mm, but it smelled really good. This is nice. And this is uh this the Justin Bieber. And this is the collector's edition. And this is how this look. Let me put these here to the side. Ooh. And then I purchased this here on Friday at uh, Marshall's. And this is the La Perla. La Perla. La Perla. I love that bottle. Mm. This definitely has a pottery scent to it. Mm, it smells really good. And I love pottery. I love spices. I love warm fragrances. I love fresh fragrances. I love fruity fragrances. Basically, I love all kind of fragrances. I don't... Uh, let me see. It's... Uh, ooh, that smells good. Mm, wow. Okay, well, let's keep it moving. I had purchased this earlier this month. Uh, this is the uh, Elizabeth and James Nirvana, Nirvana Black. I purchased this from Alta earlier this month. Mm. And this here, this, I had to go and get another one. I really love this here. It smells so much. It's a lot of vanilla in here to me. And I paid uh, $9.99 for the gift set. I went back and got another one. But this is the uh, Carmen Electra uh, perfume. And I got this on the recommendation from uh, Rhonda LaRiche. And because I don't only... Uh, Celebrity makeup, celebrity makeup. I got makeup on my mind, y'all. Celebrity fragrance that I've ever owned was Baby Fat, which I still have that, and I don't want to use it that up. Uh, Beyonce's Heat, uh, Rihanna's, uh, I can't remember what the name of hers is, but I finished that. And once I finish a bottle, I normally don't repurchase it unless I really, really like it. Except my staples. My staples stay with me. They've been with me throughout the years. You know, because when your body change, you know, your pH change, you know, fragrances don't smell the same on you. And I have four that I've been rocking with for years. So, let's move on. And this is uh, another Rhonda uh, recommendation to Katy Perry. This is a nice scent, too. Uh, it's powdery to me, so I like that. And everybody probably should know what this smell like. I'm the one that's on the uh, late bandwagon. Um, this here, Tracy Allen. Tracy, this is a very nice. Let me spray this here. And I don't want to really spray too much on my skin, even though I'm getting ready to take a shower, but... Mm, well, right now I'm smelling that alcohol. Let's move on to the next one. This here is really nice. Uh, I've had this here since the beginning, and I've used this quite a bit. This is very nice and, you know, delicate, very warm, you know, sensual. I love this one here, too. And this one here is Ellen Tracy. And I've had, uh, what I think I have, about two or three more of her fragrances over there. The ones that had the, like, the little flowers in the back. They up in my uh, makeup, I mean, my makeup, Lord. My fragrance cabinet. Oh, I got makeup on my brain. And this is another uh, recommendation by Rhonda. I actually wore this to work... Uh, I went in Sunday, and I wore that. This is very, very nice. When, uh, the the opening note is very strong, but then once it unfolds, it is gorgeous, at least on my skin. It's very gorgeous. And then I purchased this here in a gift set earlier this month uh, by Lalique. Oh, my God, this smells so good on me. And what I do... Especially all the new fragrances. 
Uh, I, once I take a shower at night, I sleep in my perfume to see just how long it's going to last. And then I may spray one or two sprays um, in the morning time once I put my clothes on. But this is divine. And being that I love this here, I went and tried another Lalique. And I got that from um, uh, Fashion... Fashion... <laughs> <laughs> fragrance net i went on and purchased this here and this is just as nice i because it's very fruity to me but when it dies down it has like a powdery scent and it's it is so lovely on my skin everything that every perfume uh at the toilet that i have I have to like it. It has to be, it has to work with my uh, pH, my body chemistry. So everything that I have, hey, I can wear it. It's certain things that I had to take back because it just did not, you know, mesh with my, uh, my uh, pH. And then some things that, you know, that was just a little too light for me, I couldn't do that. Now, I ordered this one here from uh, Fragrance Net also. This was a purchase from Friday. This was a purchase that came Friday. And then, uh, let me see, it was one more that I had ordered Friday. Oh, I guess not. I, oh, the Katy Perry, the Katy Perry, and this one here. And this is the David Yerman. This is very nice, too. I only sprayed it once. Let's go to this Tracy. Mm. This Tracy here, uh, Tracy Ellen Tracy has a very spicy. My nose is picking up very spicy, and I love that. Spicy, but yet soft. Let's see this one here. This one is definitely strong. This here kind of, uh, this opening, this first spray is kind of like a man's cologne. But of course, you know, I, I do wear some men colognes also, especially the ones that are very light. Take me a uh, whiff of this here. Mm, this coffee grounds to um, open up my nasal palate. This is nice. I wanted this have uh aldehydes in it because it has that vintage like smell. Now I'm gonna have to see how it is once it actually dry down, but right now it has that vintage. And I could still smell it. Well, it has like a cigarette tobacco like scent to it. So I'm gonna have to see how that is once it dry down. And this here, uh, what is this? Hannah, Hannah, Maury. This is very soft too. I sprayed this one night on. Um, it's very soft. I got this uh in a gift uh set earlier this here month with I think the lotion and the body wash. And this live joyously. I got this here at Marshalls for fifteen bucks. This is very soft, also. Flower, uh, you ha it has a flower with note in it. What uh flower in it? I don't know. Let's see. Mm, smell like a white flower, like gardenia or something like that. It's very nice, though. Very nice. I think that light may be drawing and everything out. And I uh, picked up this one here. I mean, I thought, I mean, I do like it. Don't get me wrong. I do like it, but this is just a little too fruity for me. But, 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 the dry down is marvelous. It is very, very, very nice. Very nice. So I went on to decide, I decided to keep it. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. It's that watermelon smell or, you know, that kiwi. That's what I think it is because I don't think I have anything that has kiwi in it but this. 
and it is very strong. You know, I I I love the fruity smells, but you know, I don't want to be smelling like no uh fruity pebbles or anything like that. You know, I'm a grown woman. I don't want to be smelling like fruity pebbles, but it is still nice, so I think I'm gonna hold on to it and get used to it. Now this this was a Ronda LaRiche. Everything that she recommended, I love. This here, this really shocked me. For 10 bucks at Ross, this fragrance really did shock me. It is gorgeous on my skin. Gorgeous on my skin. I love it. And you know, I'm keeping it in the sleeve because of this face here. That's just gorgeous there. Okay, and I got this earlier this month. This uh Misha M Mission, what is this? Mishoni. I hope I'm spelling ah saying that right. Y'all yeah, is late. I'm getting tired tongue. I'm tired. I should have brought some water in here because my mouth is getting dry. But this is such a soft, sensuous smell. I love the way this smell on me. Um, this put me straight to sleep when I sprayed this on me. It's really nice. Let's see. Mm. Again, I, I smell nothing but fruit in here. Nothing but fruit. And I love that. I love when the fruit uh, note is very soft. Not too overbearing. The same with this here. This is the... Um, and I got this... What is this? The Romantica by Anna Sue. I was really shocked that this here was real. This is very, very nice. This is very nice. It's very soft, fruity, floral. You know, <clears throat> those are the, the accords that's, uh, that's in here. Very soft and nice. Okay, let me see this here. Yes, this has a tobacco-like smell. Very light, light tobacco, though. You know, one of those good cigars from back in the day. Or maybe a Cuban cigar. Okay, now this is the one that I I was looking at her video. Maybe it was... It had to have been Wednesday because that's when I went to the doctor. But I know I seen her video. I started watching her videos Tuesday, because Wednesday I had my doctor's appointment. And I my doctor is uh in the metropolitan area, so we seen a, a TJ Maxx over there, and I told my husband, let's stop over there. But she described this, and this is uh, Shannon's Scent Story. Yeah, that's her name, Shannon's Scent Story. She described this as... You know, when you wash your clothes and you're washing it with washing powder and the, and it's still in there and I guess you put it in the dryer and how it smells. Now, I kind of envisioned that when I was coming up when, you know, we washed our clothes and then my grandmother hung them on the clothesline outside and it had the little washing powder flakes all in it. So it had me laughing. So I went on and purchased this from TJ Maxx and it, they had it on clearance for 60 bucks. And when I got home, uh, I sprayed it on me. Now, what I smelled was burning wood, campfire type wood, you know, the crackling, the, the that burning scent. That's what I smelled. But on my skin, once it dried down, oh my God, I fell in love with myself. It smells so good. Now, if, if I mean, just getting to me, like I said, it smelled more like a burning wood, you know. But that dry down, once it unfolded, it was lovely on my skin. So this is uh the Atkinson's California Poppy. And we got some hair there. So I decided to keep it. Like I said, when I first 
when I first smelled it, I'm like, oh, Lord, this smelled like I'm going to a campfire. But that dry down was just nice. And I didn't wore this twice now. Now, this is one of the fragrances that I was telling y'all about in my, I think when I did my husband's little collection. This is so nice. And I want to get everything that, uh, what is his name, Pascal Morabito. I may be chopping that name up, but that's okay. But this is nice. When you can smell a fragrance and uh, you haven't sprayed it yet, you can smell it around the cap. To me, that's that's good. And this is, I got this for $12.99. As a matter of fact, I've purchased every last one of his fragrances for that price. Oh. Mm. Mm, gourmand, you know, vanilla. I mean, that's all I smell in this here vanilla. And this lasts a very long time, very long time. Now, and uh, in his collection, I got a couple of flankers here. Uh, okay, this one here is called Purple Lady. I forgot, I uh, sprayed it on me, but I don't forgot how it smelled. So let me... Smell some coffee real quick. Let that alcohol die down. Mmm. Oh, this this smell like. Mmm. And this is it right here. Mm. Purple lady. This smell like. Mmm. It smells like a Lancome fragrance or a YSL, one of those fragrances. Mm. I have to get back with you on that, but I'm thinking maybe a YSL fragrance. Okay. Well, these here, this is uh, Blossom Delight by uh, Pascal, and this is how this looks. And every last one of them was $12.99. Beautiful girl. Let's see. Beautiful girl. Yeah, my light. Now, this one here, Only Love. This is a bad mama jamma here. This is awesome. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's a YSL scent there. Let me spray this here. This Blossom Delight, which is, look like it should be a lighter scent. And then I'm going to put a Beautiful Girl on my other hand. Just get some of that alcohol off. Okay, Beautiful Girl was on this hand. Mmm. Beautiful girl has this cherry-like scent to it. Oh, this is just wonderful. Hey, for $12.99, at least try it. This is nice. This is really nice. And they stay on a long time. The projection on this is, oh, mm, oh, gosh. This just smelled like a... Like some cherries. That's what it smells like. Cherries. Some type of berry. And this one here. Mm, this is very powdery. Mm. I'm trying to see what. Uh, let's see. This one here makes me think of when I was young. The Avon powder that we used to put on, this what this makes me uh remind me of Avon powder. And yeah, this definitely reminds me of that. And uh, think I mean speaking on Avon, um, I had bought one of my perfumes that I used to wear back in the day, a long, long time ago. Like I said, you know, your body chemistry definitely changed throughout the years. 
But uh, the one it was was Gardenia by Elizabeth Taylor. That used to smell really, really nice on me. I went and purchased it. I had to take it back because it smelled like plastic on me now. It was a horrible, horrible scent on me. And I used to love that. I used to wear that a lot back in the day. I used to love it. But I can't wear it now. But this one here, this is nice. I want to spray this. Well, let me get a little sheet of paper or something. Do I have anything with me? Uh, get a look. Oh, this here is nice. The cherry, that, that one is nice. The projection on that is just nice. Uh, I really don't want to use that up, but I will because I can. This is nice. Oh gosh. It is oh this is definitely a YSL dupe. I'm assuming. This is nice though. Mm. Oh that's nice. This smell like luxury here. This one here. I don't know if y'all can see because this light is drawn in it. And then that's a red bottle too. Only love. I don't know if you can see it, but this smell like luxury here. Very nice. Mm. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna let it sit right here. Now this here is a uh, TJ Maxx and Marshall's purchase, and this is uh by the House of Well, Well Paris. Uh, I know they've been making fragrances, if I'm not mistaken, since 1933. But this is the Bamboo Collection. There's one more in it, but I did not like how that smelled on me. This is the Sweet Bamboo. This is very, very, very fruity. From beginning, from the top, middle, and base note, this is very fruity. And it lasts a long time. I've done really, really good with my blind buys. Knock on wood. I know this ain't really wood here, but I've done really, really good with my blind buys. The bam, uh, the bamboo, uh, glacé. This is divine. Also, this is nice. Very, very elegant. Very, very soft, sensuous. Just lovely. Now the the emotion. This is uh, it. Smell good, but this my this is the least favorite here. Let's see. Okay, you really can't see that, but this is uh emotion essence, and this one here is greedy essence. This is really nice. Also, this is a nice one. This is nice. Mm, this is uh, very powdery, but it has some type of spice in it. Mm. Yeah, it's powdery, but it's very spicy too. Uh, this coffee. Mm. Okay, this one here. Powdery. Mm. That's how I smell is powder. This one is kind of light on me, which, you know, I like them when it's really light. But I like fragrances that, that just, you know, in your face. That's the type of fragrances I like, whether it's, you know, um, uh, gourmand, gourmand, whether it's, you know, spicy, whether it's, it's soft, but I still like it in your face. I don't like it when it don't seem like anything is on me. I don't like that one. And this is my favorite out of all of them. This is my favorite. This is a in your face. Mm. Oh, that is just, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, 
this is one of the ingredients in here, ingredients that's in here. Well, I said ingredients. One of the notes. Um, it has to be, and I may be pronouncing it wrong, but it's in my holy grail, cloid uh, narcissist. I think it's it's something. It's a plant called narcissus. I believe that's in here. That's why I love this so much. Because that's the same thing that's in my Chloe Narcissus. It is. Oh, this is this is nice. I I'm gonna have to get another backup of this. I really can't find this, but I have a backup of this. That's because it's it's so good. And this one here. Those are the only ones I have backups on. But I definitely need another. I need two. Two more backups of this. This smells so good. Well, y'all, that will conclude my fragrance haul for the month of February. Uh, I may be getting back off into my uh, makeup next month. I don't know. I, I have too much makeup, so I really don't. I have a lot of fragrances, too. And now that... You know, I'm uh, hip to uh, fragrance net. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. My husband just shakes his head. But, you know, it's a lot of fragrances that's on my uh, wish list that I would love to get. Um, I have a lot more. I think I, in my, my little, uh, what I call it, my little makeup cabinet. I think I have about 60 or 70 fragrances in there. Including this here. We're going to have to buy another one. Uh, to put some more of my fragrances in. Because they was being stored in a little uh, dresser from Ikea. Five drawer dresser. So I'm going to have to uh, get another one of those. It's a display case. But I put my perfumes in. So uh, let me stop all this rambling. Uh, and I forgot to say in my intro. Don't forget to subscribe to the Glam Squad. Um, and until next time, my Glam Beauties, smooches. Bye-bye.